First question is fit with weights mama. How long does it take for a metabolism to recover? After years of a 1200 calorie diet, I reverse dieted and am now at 2100 calories and have been lifting for five months. I am seeing great strength progress, but I am wondering when it's okay to start cutting calories for a more aesthetic look, and how do I know my metabolism won't get jacked up again? All right, so um, when someone says metabolism recover, we got to be very clear. What they mean is uh, faster, right? I get a faster metabolism because the truth is uh, the metabolism is doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, it was never broken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't broken. You were just eating a low calorie, and you were probably exercising Programming wrong. Programming it wrong. And so it just slow down. Um, so the the question is, okay, uh, how long does it take before my metabolism is really fast? Well, so far you've done a pretty damn good job. You've gone almost up, up a thousand calories. You're at 2,100 calories. What I don't know is it, did your body fat go up within that period of time? Were you able to maintain your body fat percentage, increase your calories, and just get stronger? In which case I'd say you're doing pretty darn good. Oh, I, if, you, if you've mm -hmm. been able to now, I mean, even if you put on some body fat, if you were to put on mostly muscle, uh, you're doing phenomenal because you're not just adding a thought. You're dub you're damn near doubling. Yeah. So the increase is almost. By, I mean, that's that's huge. That's so, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That's a great place to be. Yeah, the place to cut is when you're at a place where you feel comfortable cutting and maintaining. In other words, mm. let's say you're at 2,100 calories and you bring it down to 1,600 calories, and that gets you lean. Are you now comfortable staying around 1,600 calories? Now, that doesn't mean you have to stay at 1,600. You could always reverse diet from there. But that's the idea, right? The idea is, do I have room to go down in order to get leaner? Um, for most women, I would say I like to keep them around, or I like to get them to around the low 2,000s, at least 22, 2,300, 2,400. It'd be real nice to get it up to 2,500 before starting to cut. Five months is pretty good. That's a pretty fast uh, progression. I've worked with, I mean, I had some female clients that mm -hmm. it took us a year to At get to the year, point. Yeah. yeah, to get to the point where things sped up a little bit because the body is just, obviously, you, you were stressing it so much before. It adapted in a particular way, and, and a five-month reversal of that is not bad at all. It's actually pretty damn good. There are some numbers that we're missing here, too, though. Like, we don't know her size, right? So, uh, I mean, if she, 2,100 is is pretty good for the average female. Yeah, if she's like 130 pounds. Yeah, right. Yeah. But if she's uh, 280 pounds, you're still really low, you know? So it really does depend on kind of where you're at. But if you're average average size, I think that's a, a, a pretty good place. Now, here's the thing too. Uh, if this was my client and she was coming to me and at, telling me that, hey, I'm looking to, I want to lean out at him. We've been doing this, you know, calorie increase for the last five months and I feel good. I'm getting stronger. I'm eating more. I'm not putting on a bunch of body fat, but I would like to summer's around the corner. Let's lean down a little bit. I would do like a three, three on one off type of like three weeks of cut one week of yeah. bulk mm -hmm. to maintenance. Yeah, three yeah. Week, and that's what we would start to do for a while. And doing that is going to keep you in a really good place, right? You're not going to be in this 1200 calorie deficit for an extended period of time. If you're having a nice calorie surplus every th every third week, uh, you should be in a pretty good place. And I'm also would not allow you to go down to 1200 calories. I'd probably run something, something around 15, 1600 calories uh, for those three weeks. And then I would run like a, you know, 2100 calorie a uh, week uh, in a surplus or maintenance, right? And be going back and forth with that. I think with uh, with doing that, you should see some uh, see yourself lean out pretty I, nice. I agree. Mm -hmm. I think the trouble happens from being consistently trying to hit a deficit. That's Just right. always, always, always hitting a deficit. Yeah, and then, chronically. And then combining that with a lot of, you know, manual calorie burning, lots and lots of cardio. That tends to be the issue. But strength training with the reverse diet and then strength training with the cut and the cut being interrupted with, like Adam said, you know, a week or four days where you're at maintenance or higher, it's probably a good strategy to get yourself lean without getting too much of that slowdown in the metabolism.